Hi, church family. I have really missed being with you every Sunday, and I have a feeling that you have also been missing the fellowship, the teaching, and the worship during our Sunday gatherings. Our team has gathered together to worship Christ through some songs, and in 1 Chronicles chapter 16, we are told to give thanks to the Lord, to call upon his name, and to make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him, sing praises to him, speak of all of his wonders, Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord be glad. So we pray as a music team that it will help, these songs will help each of us to keep our eyes on Jesus during this time. So check back on our church's website each week for some more music from our team. Yeah. 
shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my eyes and honored, and I love you. I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I was laid off my job a little over a month ago, and I'm going through the hoops of unemployment, trying to get uh, approved for that. While this hasn't been the easiest season, I can truly say that God provides for my every need and knows every fear and worry I might try to cling to. Being unbusy has forced rest on many people, myself included. It's been a time where the Holy Spirit prunes some false ideas we have about identity and productivity, American ideals of pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps. You cannot always pull yourself out of the pit sometimes, but you can trust a God big enough to level the ground for your good. These are the kinds of times that my faith feels really small. But as Pastor Tyler often reminds us, it's not about the size of my faith, but the object of it that matters. So while I cling tightly to what feels like the last thread of hope sometimes, my security is in knowing that thread is on the hem of Jesus' rope. One thing I recently read that comforted me said that we often use exhortation from scripture, such as just trusting God, to cancel out non-happy emotions. Sometimes sorrow is appropriate, though. Sometimes grief is the right response. I've been reminded that in the unknowns, in the scariness, that trusting in God doesn't negate my sadness, but it sits with it as a counterweight. The Holy Spirit is our comforter, and we can trust our souls in a good and gracious king. Isaiah continues to say, All the nations gather together, and the peoples assemble. Who among them can declare this and show us the former things? Let them bring their witness to prove them right, and let them hear and say, It is true. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. I, I am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I declared and saved and proclaimed when there was no strange God among you, and you are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and I am God. Tendeth my way when 
for the privilege that we have to worship you and we thank you for the scripture that tells us to 
make a joyful noise and that you receive our praise and our worship. And we are so thankful that we can sing to the King. Father, during these weeks where it's been uh, darkness and gloom and sickness and loneliness, Father, we have more than 10,000 reasons to sing and to praise your name. Father, we're thankful for your son, Jesus Christ, who gives us the salvation that we have that, we, that allows us to be filled with the joy of the Lord and that allows us to express to you our worship and our adoration. And Father, we're thankful for the work of the Holy Spirit who in times of sorrow and grief and in times of joy is our comforter so that we can indeed turn to you and sing, it is well with my soul. Father, thank you for the redemption that you've provided through your son, Jesus Christ, who is the only one who we can sing to as holy, holy, holy. So thank you for this time. We pray that you have been glorified. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God in 